everybody, my name is Skullkid and welcome back to another Indie Showcase and today we'll be playing Rust, a survival game developed by Facepunch Studios, the makers behind Gary's Mod. Okay, so, um, I've tried to record this a few times. Uh, one time I died and it wasn't a very fun let's play, and the other time uh, there was no sound on my recording, so yeah, it was kind of sad. Anyway, so we're restarting again. And, uh, anyways, this game is fun, so I honestly really don't mind. Uh, do you think that's a dangerous animal right there? Because we need to get food. That is the number one cause of death in this game. Okay, it's just a deer. Honestly, we don't have much chance of getting it, but you never know. Uh, I guess it could attack me. Anyways, it just ran away. So unless it kind of gets trapped somewhere, uh, I don't have much hopes of getting it. Especially since I stopped. Uh, can we... Oh, this is corn! Oh, finally! Because I've been trying to get, like, stuff that looked similar to corn forever, and I always got, like, uh... I always got let down because it was just, like, a random plant, and just right off the bat we find a bunch of corn. And yeah, so, as I said, I kinda tried to pre-record this before. That's why I'm actually level 3 and stuff. And... Ooh, we're lucky to find corn, I just can't believe it. This game is, like, so non-forgiving, and then I'm just happy to find corn at where I spawned. We're actually lucky for this playthrough. Um, anyways, so as always in, in, in the showcase, uh, if you want more of these episodes, simply like, comment, and subscribe. Actually, you don't need to do all that, but just comment, and uh, just tell me if you want more, really. Uh, I was looking at the statistics for... Uh, Space Engineers, which released a day or two ago, and it's actually doing pretty good. And uh, if you noticed, I've actually been doing uh, all the games that um, are from the Humble Bundle, Survive This Bundle on HumbleBundle.com. As I say in every episode now, I'm not sponsored by them, I just really like what they do, because I end up saving so much money. I paid $6 for 6 games, and all these games are like $20 individually, so it's totally worth it. So, uh, that's kind of why I'm showcasing it off. And there's, like, some excavation thing. Oh, we can open it. Cool. I'm um, sorry for stealing your stuff, bro. Uh, oh, okay, there's nothing here. It's just a fuel storage. Wait, we can walk at the same time? I guess that's smart for a game you can't pause. Uh, do you think? There's probably nothing here either, right? Okay. I got let down. Oh, there's some mushrooms over there. It could be important. I still don't know if mushrooms are poisonous in this game. Or if some mushrooms are and some aren't. I don't know. I think it would be good if stuff, some food is poisonous. Makes it interesting and stuff, but... I'm happy that this place isn't locked up in any way. Um... Okay, can I open any of these boxes. Uh, okay. It kinda always takes time to load stuff. Uh, there's nothing in here. But apparently I unlocked some stuff. It's kinda cool, so there's stuff you can craft, but there's also stuff you unlock, and then you still need to craft it. Can I take these tools? So this is like a workbench or something. Ooh, there's a horse. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Wait, should I sneak up on him? Aw, oh, he heard me. I hate the delay, because I thought he didn't notice me, and then I was like, I'll change my strategy to be more effective. Did he just disappear? Okay, no. I thought he disappeared again. Stuff keep on disappearing when I try to hunt them. Okay, we're kind of back at where we were. Definitely important to get animals. Ah! Ah, he actually figured out how to get out of there. He was kind of just a glitching NPC over there. He is... kinda fast. Oh yeah! Oh, I got him. I got him once! Hey, there's a pumpkin. Oh, we gotta take this. There's another pumpkin. And corn. There's corn on the other side. It's 
easier to catch than the horse. At least it doesn't seem like we're actually going to be uh, missing any food in this in this uh, gameplay this time. We were missing food all along for the other times. Hey, look, there's a sheep over there. Ah, well, why did I just call it a sheep? There's a boar. Wait, no, that's a bear. It's a bear again. I keep on getting fooled by this. For some reason, bears just always stand on their rock. Um, maybe we want to go to this village. It looks a bit safer. Oh, I think I remember this place from when I did the previous Let's Play that failed. Yeah, this is of an abandoned factory. Okay, I'm starting to, to know this place. I also remember going here. Oh, I know where I am now. Oh, that's good. Okay, well, yeah, there's a bear and a mountain over there. Um. Okay, yeah. I'm so happy I know where I am in this game now. I not find anything. Oh, we're starving? I didn't even notice. You see, I was just having fun exploring and we're actually starving. Anyways, not to worry because we have um, some food. All I know, uh, all I don't know is do we need to cook it? Uh, let's just take this rock in case we need to cook stuff. Because right now I don't believe I have any wood. Okay, yeah. You can kind of see the city over there. They have like a bunch of electric landlines. This like server is pretty well organized. There's not many people who play it, so that's also good. But I mean like, uh, why? What I don't get is uh, they actually like wipe out the server every month. It's kind of sad to me, like it's, it's so cool. All right, eating. I forgot about that. Hey, there's uh, something over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, I think I also remember this place. Okay, we need to sprint because we're like freezing apparently. Can we open this? Nope. Nothing to do with this one. Uh, ironically, I think uh, I looted this place and this is kind of where I survived. Yeah, I remember looting this box and that's kind of how I survived in the first one. There's a helicopter. And I don't see any animals. Like, there's barely any in this game. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Okay, well, this isn't exactly the best spot to build a fire. Because I'm kind of right beside people. Nonetheless, I'm still gonna go here because I'm starving, and I don't know if you can take your campfire back or, or whatever. I don't know. Let's just build our campfire right here, I guess. Let's light it. Light campfire, open storage container. Set the campfire on fire. Uh, this will cook any food within. Okay, so we need to put food in that. Putting food in the campfire. Uh, what happens if I do cook it? Does it just turn into like better quality corn? Oh wait, can I stack them? No, I can't stack them. I have to cook it like one by one. Okay, cool, so it drops charcoal. And then I can extinguish the campfire. So the campfire is on, it will burn until it runs out of fuel. If you put food inside, it will cook. If you leave food inside too long, it will burn. Wait, so does the icons change? Uh, I'm still not used to it, but it's like giving me so much charcoal out of nowhere. I still need to see what's happening. Okay, well, let's go down this mountain the least possible safe way. And... Oh, oh okay, I, I didn't take fall damage. I think you can get fall damage in this game. 
I'm pretty sure about that. And we still need to get so much stuff, like I can't believe it. Okay, I, I need these trees really badly. I need all the wood I can find. Hopefully build a shelter with it. Oh come on, the helicopter's getting closer, where is it? I still can't see it. Uh, I thought I saw something there though, of interest. Okay, maybe not. Oh, horse. No, come back here. I am actually almost as fast as this horse. Okay, not exactly. Not exactly at all. Ooh, metal ore, I can just take it. Just like that. That's epic. Okay, so I'm just using the house to kind of, uh, look where I am. And, uh, looks like we found a stone. So let's just do this while we're waiting for night to set down on us. Where is it? It's still there. It's annoying me that I, like, there's a helicopter all the time around here. But, wait, what? Where is it? Okay, it's totally here this time. Where? Where is it? Oh, come on. Where the hell is it? It's like impossible to see. Oh, look at our campfire. Where is the damn helicopter? Oh, it just flew by. It's over there. What? Okay, but uh, I don't know if it's just my computer, like, not loading m uh, mountains good enough. But look at this. There's like a... Uh, it almost seems like nuclear reactors over there or something. Well, why is that helicopter over there? Come on, light the torch up. Please help us. Okay, I don't know if you can hear much music, but every time I listen to the music in this game, it really feels like it's a Minecraft music. Anyways, guys, uh, I think that'll be it for this episode. I was maybe hoping to do, like, a day two episode, or uh, day two, I mean, in the same episode, but um, I'm looking at my timer. It's about time to go. So uh, I hope you did enjoy this episode. And if you did enjoy the episode, please give it a like and comment if you want more about the uh, Rust, because personally I think it's great. Of course, uh, it, maybe it's not the best thing at the beginning, because uh, there's not much to do. But anyways, so as I said, comment if you want more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and share this to your friends. And subscribe for more like Rust and everything in the Indie Showcase series. There's also Splatoon and a bunch more coming up real soon. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and have a great day, guys.